you miss me? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, we too with you. Back to the video. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to maintain your waves in the summer. But before we get into this, guys, I wanna give a personal shout out to 360 Merch, guys. Check it out, check it out. They sent me a little bundle real quick of three brushes, guys. And I wouldn't lie to you guys, you know, I would tell you guys if, if this was a bad brush or not, but honestly, this is actually a really good brush. Like, for the price that you can get for it, it's a great quality brush. Pointed tip. 100% board bristles, it's a wood handle, all that is, every, what else could you ask for, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could work on your crown with the pointed tip, all that. That's not even the best part, guys. The best part right here, it's my favorite item that they gave me. All right, this 360 Merch crown brush, guys. This is very good for working on my crown, bro. I've been using this for the past week, guys, and this is probably my favorite item that they sent me so far. But yeah, I highly recommend you guys check them out, guys. I'll leave their link in the description. I'll leave the link to the IG in the description. If you guys plan on buying anything from the store, make sure to use my code way too wavy for an extra 10% off your entire order, guys. Make sure to use that. Way too wavy in all caps, just like how I have it right here, guys. But yeah, that's basically it, guys. Make sure to check them out. They got some great products, guys. And there's more products on the, on the wave that I'm gonna review. All right, guys, so listen. Summer is here already, guys, so. Nothing we can do about it. The weather's getting real hot. 10, 80s, 90s. Why you guys hear my AC in the background, you feel me? So if that's bothering you, I'm sorry, it's hot. And today I'm gonna be giving you guys mad tips, all these great tips for you guys to keep in mind. So make sure you guys watch the whole video. And I'll also be showing you guys my week seven progress today. So yeah, let's get into it. All right guys, so my first and most important tip guys, do not wolf for too long, you feel me? Like this summertime guys, a lot of things is gonna happen. You're gonna be very hot, you're gonna be sweating a lot. You're gonna be working out, playing sports, whatever it is, going swimming. And you feel me, your hair's gonna get frizzy, all that. So you do not wanna make it harder for yourself by wolfing longer, because it's gonna be a lot harder to maintain, you know? My personal suggestion, guys, is to, if your hair is already trained and your pattern is in, I say you you should wolf for about four weeks tops. You don't wanna wolf for too long, because you're gonna get over curl, you're gonna get all this frizz, you're gonna be sweating crazy, none of that. We don't want none of that. We want to be spinning this summer. We want to be flexing out here, you feel me? The sun's going to be busting. So is our waves, all right? So, yeah. So if your hair's trained and your pattern's in, four weeks, guys. Four weeks tops. No more than that. Because we're straight hair wavers. So I would I would normally say two or three weeks. But we're straight hair wavers. You know, it takes a little bit longer for our uh, hair to get in. But um, if your hair is not trained yet and you're trying to get your pattern in still, then I would recommend go a little bit longer for about like six to eight weeks, but no more than that, guys. No more than that. It's gonna, it's just gonna be a problem for you. You know, I'm suggest, I'm giving you guys my best suggestion because I know myself. I told myself that I was gonna do 15 weeks this wolf, and I'm not doing that, guys. I might cut my wolf either next week or probably we'll see, we'll see. But probably most likely next week I'll be cutting my wolf, guys. So for the second tip, guys, is gonna be for swimming because I know everybody every it's summer guys everybody wants to go swimming everybody wants to hit the pool hit the beach get lit with their friends you feel me i know i know how that go you feel me all that uh, you don't want to lose your waves because going into water chlorine all that salt water you know it's going to mess up your hair you don't want to do that so my best suggestion for you guys is to invest in a swimming cap the best thing you can do for yourself is invest in a swimming cap this summer guys i'm telling you they shouldn't be that much i'm, I'm not sure how, they, how much they go for i don't have one myself yet but they can't be too much. I'm pretty sure you can probably get one at like a dollar store and then buy a beauty salon, whatever it is. Yeah, probably not a beauty salon, but if you guys don't like the swimming cap look, I got a little trick for you, all right? So listen up. Basically what you wanna do is throw in the swimming cap first. Throw in the swimming cap first, no rag, nothing yet. Make sure everything's in place. At least put it on like a wave cap, you know? Like just put it on top and then throw on a do-rag after and tie your do-rag so that you have a do-rag look. Nobody will know you have a swimming cap on you, know? But to, me, to be honest, I don't care. I'm gonna just throw it on. People ask me why I got it on. If you guys don't have any swimming caps around, like nowhere to go to get them and you're gonna go for a swim, my best suggestion for you is just to stay ragged up while you're going for the swim. And then after you're done with the swim, get straight into a wash and stuff. Cause you're gonna, you wanna wash all that chlorine out of your hair anyway. If you guys don't know how to do that wash style, you wanna see it for yourself. I have a video up, I, my last upload, best wash style method of 2020 guys, I'm telling ya. You ain't hear from me, but I'm just saying. Best watch style method 2020, all right? Make sure you go check that out if you haven't already. So for the next tip, guys, is for working out, because I know I got a lot of athletes watching, uh, whether you're playing basketball, soccer, football, baseball, whatever it is, or you just go to the gym on a regular basis, just getting your body right, you know, like just conditioning and all that. Whatever it is, you guys are gonna be sweating a lot, whether it is every day or however your schedule works, but you're gonna be sweating a lot. What you wanna do, guys, is rag up. 
at least rag up, if not double compress. I highly recommend to double compress because it will help absorb some of the moisture and it'll keep your hair in place because that's what you want to do. And after that, after whatever you're doing, working out, uh, whatever it is, make sure your hair is dry. Wait for your hair to dry and as soon as your hair dries, get a quick brush session in. You don't have to go for a long brush session. Five to 10 minutes is good. After that, you can do a co-wash. A co-wash, guys, is basically, a lot of you guys ask me what a co-wash is. It's basically the same thing as a washing style, but just for conditioner. No, no shampoo, you know? So just rinse your hair out after, after working out, rinse it out. Put some conditioner in, brush it in, rag up. Same thing as a washing style. Rag up, rinse it out with the with the rag on. Wait for your four to five hours for your hair to dry. So just keep it at three three cold washes a week if you guys want to do that. All right, guys. Next up, so the tip I got for you guys is no pomades. Stay away from pomades, guys. I mean, I never use pomades ever. Like you guys been watching my videos, I, you've never seen me pull out pomade. But the main problem of pomades in the summer is that. That sun will melt your pomade and it'll melt into your, your face. Like, it'll melt down your face. You don't want that. Just stay away from pomades. You don't want to use that. This next tip, guys, is for frizz. You know, summer, this heat, bro, is going to be hitting your hair crazy, bro. You're going to be sweating. Your gonna, hair is going to be looking real crazy, bro. It's going to be really frizzy. And especially if you're wolfing a lot. Like I told you guys before, do not wolf for too long because your hair will look crazy, bro. I'm telling you. My hair gets frizzy a lot now. My best suggestion for you guys is to always keep that soft brush on you. And plastic bag method every after every brush session guys make sure you plastic bag after every brush session this will lay down all your hairs all that little bit of frizz there might still be a few hairs that are sticking up but this will get most of the hairs so yeah that's basically it guys if you guys have a lot of frizz well you will have a lot of frizz from the summer make sure you keep yourself brushing your plastic bag on you all right all right y'all so for the last tip guys the last very last tip this is the key tip right here too oils oils are your best friend guys this summer all right oils is very good for your hair they're very healthy for your hair and they put shine into your hair too so imagine how that sun is looking beaming on your hair when it's shining your wave is going to be looking great guys i'm telling you make sure you guys are using your oils all right y'all so now it's time time for this week seven progress you feel me i've been slacking just a little bit guys just 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 a little bit you know but it's all right because you know i always get back so check it out guys Check it out, guys. I don't know how it's looking right now. My hairline's probably messed up. All right, y'all, so check it out. I just combed my hair out. I'm about to get into a quick brush session with the new pickup. The 360 merge brushes, and I will finish off with the, you know what I'm saying? Crown brush real quick. I got you out, man. Let's get into it. I really like how good this brush is at laying down hair. Laid down my hair very well. And once I hit it with a plastic bag, you know I'm good. Let me get some work in with the red brush, you feel me? The red brush is fire, I really like this one. Check out how well this brush lays down, bro. Like, Lays down here so well. Check it out. It's time for me to get some working on the crown. I'm with the perfect brush right here, the 360 merge crown brush kind. Give me some work with that. There. My crown looking pretty solid. Now we're going to finish off with the blue brush. You know, just to make sure everything's laid. Alright, now I'm just going to finish off with the plastic bag with this. I gotta lay everything down. Three sixty merch brushes, guys. Get your brushes now. Make sure to use code WeeToWeeGN for ten percent off at checkout. 
that's basically it for today, guys. Um, let me know what you guys want to see next. If you guys want to see different kinds of video, different kind of content, I can do that too. Just let me know in the comments. I'll talk to you guys. Tell me. And if not, if you guys have got any questions for your progress, make sure to DM my Instagram. I'll leave it right here at bsy.ant. Next week, guys, I will be reacting to my subscribers' waves, guys. So make sure you guys send me your progress to my DM, and you'll probably get featured in the next week's video. But yeah, that's really it for today, guys. Y'all already know how it go, man. Sway to Wavy Ant, signing in, signing out. Peace.